Hello and welcome to the Rumblin' Man YouTube channel. This is a YouTube channel for guitar players and bass players alike, in which we chase the greatest tone and we check out the guitars, the strings, the pedals, the basses, everything and anything we can if it has to do with getting our best tone and doing our best job as musicians. So if that's the kind of content you enjoy, I invite you to click the subscribe button and the bell so that you will be notified every time I come out with a new video. Today's video is actually part of my new acoustic series, which is a playlist of videos that will be reviewing acoustic guitars, acoustic pedals, acoustic strings, things of that nature. So for you acoustic guitar players out there, whether it's within your home or at church or on a stage with your band or solo, you will get a lot out of this series, so I invite you to follow it. There is a link in the description of this video of my new acoustic series playlist. All right, so first up in this series, we're going to be taking a look at a guitar that I've actually been gigging with quite a bit from my friends at Aria Guitars in Japan. This is Aria's APE 100 acoustic electric guitar. It's extremely cool. It's budget friendly, whereas Aria is anchored in Japan and many of their instruments are Japanese. This is a slightly more affordable instrument. It's actually crafted in Indonesia, uh, but really a cool workhorse instrument that won't cost you a fortune, but will do a great job for you on stage. Lately, I've actually been using this live. I've been using it on stage. I've done three or four shows with it, uh, gigging with it throughout the week. So forgive me if there's any fingerprints or scratches on the uh, face of the guitar. That's just from it being used in live action. Um, I've got to say that playing it, the experience of playing it is great because when you plug it in and you get going, it's kind of like more the vibe of playing like a Les Paul or for Aria, that would be Aria's PE model. Um, in fact, this is very similar. It's the same silhouette as Aria's PE guitar, except this is actually hollowed out. Whereas it looks like a solid body acoustic, it is actually hollow uh, and there is a sound hole right here on the side. Um, and actually I really like it because if I'm, you know, sitting here, Playing. If it were a solid body guitar, it just wouldn't make a lot of noise to be played around the house if you're writing a song or this and that. Um, instead, we've got the sound hole right here, aiming right at you, and you can hear the full sonic capability of the guitar with it on your lap being played. So I want to give you the info on this guitar and what it's made of, what it can do for you. I want to give you a couple more demos. And then I also want to give you my opinion uh, on this guitar and my views on it the pros, cons, etc. So we're going to do all of that in today's video. So real quick to introduce the Aria APE 100 to you, let's hear it played a little more. You heard it played with a pick in the intro, but I want to play it finger style with no pick. I'm going to put the pick down because there's a lot of you finger style guys out there and you're wondering what a guitar like this could do for your plugged in tone. Well, you're about to find out because I'm going to play some finger style playing and then we'll come back and talk about the features. Let's check it out. So what's this thing made of? Well, actually we have a quilted maple top uh, and it looks absolutely great. It looks like an instrument at four times the price point. Just really great looking guitar. Um, the quilted maple being finished in a nice gloss. 
I'm a huge fan of the looks. I get a lot of comments on this guitar when I'm on stage. The sides and back of the guitar are mahogany, uh, and you can see a really nice wood grain in the mahogany, um, also with a very lovely gloss finish. We've got a bolt on neck uh, with these nice four bolts here, really nice heel joint right here. I like it a lot. And then an interesting thing with the neck. Now you guys already know that I personally am usually a gloss guy, but I gotta say this is neat. The whole body finished in gloss, but the back of the neck is actually finished in a satin finish. Now, do I hate satin finishes? Absolutely not, I love satin finishes. Um, a lot of you guys out there are satin guys, I know from talking with you. Um, you may very well really love this neck because if you like to play fast, you wanna get around on the neck, uh, and if your hands are sweaty, you don't want that to hold you back, then this is the kind of finish uh, that you'll like for that. And I find even though that I prefer gloss most of the time, I find this is extremely comfortable when I've played it on stage. I love how it feels. They did a great job with the satin finish of this neck, okay? The neck itself is actually a three-ply mahogany neck reinforced with maple, and I really like it. And we got some really good hardware on this guitar as well. This is a rosewood bridge. Um, both the saddle and the nut are bone. It just doesn't get much better than bone. Um, and then for the other hardware, such as the strap pegs and tuners, we have chrome hardware. Now let's talk about the electronics of this guitar because it's very interesting. There is no built-in preamp. There's not even a volume knob, tone knob, nothing. The only thing on the guitar that you're gonna be able to use to control its sound is your playing of it. The pickup is actually a Fishman pickup it's a passive piezo pickup uh, from Fishman. Obviously with the absence of an onboard preamp, I'm going to use whatever it's plugged into to get my sounds. So today in these demos today, you're hearing uh, it through some of my acoustic patches for the Line 6 Helix LT. And then live, I've been running it through a Samzamp Tech 21 acoustic fly rig. Um, and you just need to run it through something that's gonna give you the flexibility to beef it up and play it and hear it the way you need to hear it. So let's hear this guitar a little more, and then when we come back, I'm going to tell you my personal experience with it, my pros and cons, uh, so that you could consider these things in considering purchasing an Aria APE 100. Let's check out another demo. So my experience, there are pros and cons, so let me address what I believe are the cons of this guitar, okay? I wanna let you know anytime here on the Rumble Man channel, if I find an issue with a product, I wanna let you know because I don't wanna pull the wool over your eyes, okay? So um, yeah, a couple things. Number one con for me would be, I find the pickup to be slightly off balance. Um, I find this a lot with affordable in acoustic electric guitars. Sometimes you'll find uh, with a piezo pickup that one string is louder than another, one string is quieter than another, etc. cetera. Um, what I have found with this particular pickup is the high E string is a bit quieter than the other five strings. Um, is that going to stop me from playing the guitar? No, but I do a lot of leads and I have found that it's hard to do leads um, effectively when one of the strings is quieter than the others. When this happens, from what I've been told by guitar luthiers is, it's generally something in how the piezo pickup is mounted or in the pickup itself. It's not something that you can just fix. Uh, but if you're out there and you know how to fix that issue, please drop me a line in the comments of this video and tell me if there's a way you know of 
that I could make the E string be the same volume as the other five strings. That would be nice. Another con is tuning stability and intonation. Um, it's not terrible at holding tune, but it doesn't hold tune as well as the other acoustic electric guitars that I have played. I don't think this really has to do with the saddle or the nut because they're both bone. Obviously you should treat them, um, but I don't see them giving you a whole lot of trouble. I want to say though that these tuners don't impress me a ton. They're obviously a Grover style tuner, but they are not actual Grovers. Um, and I've noticed they're just not my favorite. They're not bad per se, but they're not my favorite. Um, I would absolutely recommend upgrading the tuners to a set of Grovers or another brand you like, maybe some locking tuners, some Spurzels, whatever tuners you like, plan on upgrading the tuning machines for optimal tuning stability. Also intonation issues, um, when I'm playing lead up in a higher register, sometimes, and I'll be doing that over a loop, sometimes the notes will sound a little bit off to me. So I'll be a little more careful when I play. So that could kind of get in the way of things. That said, is it a deal breaker? Is it gonna cause me to not play this guitar? No. Um, one other con for me is just the strap pegs themselves, just kind of the way they're shaped. Um, some straps will go over there perfectly, but one of the straps that I use being a thickly padded um, leather strap, I have a very hard time uh, putting the strap on this guitar, and sometimes I have to do it over and over and over. So just be ready to be flexible as far as the strap you use goes. So there's three cons for you, but what about the pros? I mean, what about the looks? So pro number one, the looks. This guitar looks uh, like a guitar of far more monetary value than what it is. And also I've got to say, the sound. I did mention an issue with the sound that I don't care for, but actually this Fishman Passive Piezo pickup sounds very good. Um, when I really amp it up with you know one of my preamp pedals, it sounds great. It sounds really cool to strum or play leads. I love how it sounds. I think it would sound great in a mix with a band. Um, so it's a great sounding guitar. And pro number three that I already mentioned is just the playing experience. You can really glide around on this neck. It's got kind of a wide profile to it, but it hasn't bothered me one bit. I really enjoy playing on it. Uh, and you can play comfortably for hours at a time as I have on stage with this guitar. So it's definitely a cool one. Um, try one out for yourself if you can, or if you wanna take the plunge and go in and order it, I do have a link in the description of this video at which you can do that. Um, or you can always get in touch with your Aria Guitars distributor and tell them you want to get your hands on an APE 100. All right, have you tried one of these? Have you played an Aria Acoustic Electric? What are your favorite acoustic electric guitars? Please let me know in the comments of this video and please make sure you're subscribed to the Rumblin' Man YouTube channel because we have a great time, okay? So God bless you guys. Thanks so much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace out.